expectations versus reality. Joel Hansen here and today guys we're gonna be on our way here just waiting for an uber on our way to shark burgers again shark burgers here in Merida um, I did their burger challenge here before it was a very interesting experience I'll put the link and a pinned comment down below for you to watch after but today we're doing the chicken wing challenge that's right so the challenge is 100 wings that's right CN CN Poyo. I don't know how to say wings. 100 chicken wings, guys. So you have 40 minutes to complete the challenge. I don't know if it's been completed or not, uh, but hope we'll find out. Uh, from my understanding, you gotta pick your flavors. 100 chicken wings, 40 minutes. They very much clarify in the rules and details that like you need to eat everything off the bones, which is fine. Hopefully they won't be too much of a stickler after I you know, after last time. Well, again, you gotta see what happens. That was a very interesting experience. But yeah, guys, 100 chicken wings, 40 minutes. Let's go see what happens. Hopefully you can win. It is 500, that's right, 499. 499, 500 pesos if we lose. So let's not do that, but that's the equivalence of about 25 American dollars, 27 American dollars right now. So anyway, let's go see if we can win. If we do, we get the meal for free, and I believe we get on a wall of fame. So let's go see what happens. So here we are with the challenge. I didn't count the wings. I'm going to assume there is 100. Um, it looks a little different than the image, but that's fine. We uh, also have uh, celery sticks. Um, is this, is the dip required? As much. Is it, do I need to eat it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we also have to eat the dips and the carrots and vegetables is totally cool. And it's a ranch dip. So yeah, we're gonna have 40 minutes, guys. Hopefully we can complete all this. It's a lot of wings. I went with um, some barbecue and then a one which was called a garlic, no, a honey and bacon. Kind of like, I was like, that's interesting. So uh, let's get going here, guys. 100 wings, wish us luck. Hi everyone, so we'll do a countdown, we'll get started. So 40 minutes. So um, how about we get started? We'll say at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Judge, you very flavorful. Yeah, straight down. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are back at Shark Burgers in Merida, Mexico, in the province of Yucatan. So here we are doing their 100 chicken wing challenge. Yes, that's right guys. So 100 chicken wings, absolutely massive challenge. And then you also have what was six or seven orders of uh, carrot and celery sticks. So for this challenge, I, you did get to pick the flavor of your wings. So I picked um, what was a barbecue and then what was called a uh, bacon and onion or bacon and garlic, which was very, very, very unique. We're gonna get very sticky. I had never heard of bacon and anything flavored chicken wings, so I thought that was cool and I wanted to give it a try. Um, what I really did do is I wanted to make sure I was picking flavors of wings that were not spicy, so I asked the gentleman would are not spicy and these were the two options which he said were not spicy why i did not want any spicy wings because i did not want any room for um error let's put it that way um last time i was here was a bit of an interesting experience and i just wanted to ensure that i was not going to get some flaming scorching hot wings or you know anything along those lines um but I will say, uh, so to this point, um, it was okay eating these first wings. As I did show at the beginning as well, the trays of my wings did look substantially different than the advertised food challenge. That being said, I think there was 100 wings there, or maybe there was a little bit more. I actually did not count them out. Um, I mean, 
even if there was 50 a tray hypothetically, which I, I don't think there'd be any more than 50 a tray, it'd be 150, but I think there was 100. Like I said, I just didn't actually count them out, but nonetheless, it did look quite drastically different um, having three trays of wings versus one tray of wings um, in the advertised challenge. <laughs> The way the wings were cooked, it was actually really, really interesting. And uh, so they tasted like they were kind of like fried and then basically like grilled on like a, I don't know, like a charcoal, charbroil grill, something along those lines. I did ask about them and he just said they were fried. Um, but again, there was a bit of a language barrier, but I will say I actually really, really enjoyed the chicken wings. Um, they just had an excellent flavor, like I said. So, it, you know, fried chicken wing, great. But then they kind of had that really nice, um, like they must have put them in an oven or something. The sauce was just kind of really nicely like stuck to it, kind of caramelized. Again, it was it almost had little nubs or bits of the ends, which tasted like they were, you know, don't get, don't take this in the wrong way, but like a little crisped or a little not quite not burnt but a little crisp like again like as if they've been exposed to a dry heat um, so however they cook the wings are actually really really good really delicious I am I do like chicken wings but after eating so many in different contests and stuff um, I you know sometimes I appreciate some wings more than others let's say and I would actually put these at very like rank these very very highly they were a very delicious chicken wing and that barbecue sauce although uh, it was definitely not like a barbecue sauce I was used to was delicious So this is definitely a very big challenge. Uh, hypothetically speaking, about 100 wings is about 10 pounds of wings by most wing conversion rates. Uh, of course, you know, you do have the weight of the bone, etc. But it's still a lot of meat. Like this is a lot of food and you only have 40 minutes. The thing with wings as well is it's a lot of technique. You have to have the technique down to be able to eat the wings in an efficient manner. Because even if you could, uh, you know, shove all this food into your mouth, like the, the, the weight of just the meat, even if you could just hypothetically eat it all really quick, um, you can't just do that. Like if it was already off the bone, you could eat it a lot quicker, but you have to take it all off the wing. It is a bit of a skill set, etc. cetera. Um, so of course it is, this is just a challenge, wing challenges in general, they just take a long time. It's just something you have to be prepared for, expect for, and definitely maintain a uh, good technique and consistent speed throughout the duration. Probably about four and a half minutes in. As we mentioned, if you do not complete the challenge, it was 500 pesos, 499 pesos, uh, which again, I mean, by uh, if you compare it to American standards, is quite affordable. But by Mexican standards, that could be, you know, in regards to pesos, 500 pesos is still 500 pesos, which is definitely a little bit of a meal. So you definitely have a bit of a gamble uh, in that regard. Um, I will say, so this was, I had two trays of the barbecue and one tray of the uh, bacon flavored wings. Actually a very delicious sauce. And while there was no spice on the uh, tray of the barbecue wings I had right here, let's just say I started to notice a little bit of a spice on maybe some of the subsequent trays, or at least one of the trays of wings, which I thought was a little odd, because um, as I mentioned earlier, I clarified which flavors of wings had no spice, you know, no picante, sin picante, um, and let's just, like I said, it was kind of an interesting experience. Um, but overall, again, was very much enjoying the flavors of these chicken wings. Um, it's a pretty straightforward challenge, guys. You got to eat the chicken wings in their entirety. Like I said, they're in the disclaimer, it definitely said you need to clean the wings very, very well. I clarified with the worker at the beginning of uh, the challenge as well. Like, is this a good level of uh, cleanliness? Is this a good level of standard? Um, is this sufficient? And of course, they you gave me the okay for yes. So that was the standard I was using, ensuring that I maintained very, very thorough in the regards of cleaning my wings for being in the position of not uh, necessarily speaking Spanish, um, knowing the uh, history we had with the last challenge. I just wanted to make sure that there was no room for error and there's going to be no misinterpretation and there would be uh, no uh, you know, misunderstandings in the regards of what was expected and or what was required for this challenge. 
At that, everybody, that's pretty much all the info I have for you at this moment. I will probably hop back on in in a minute. Um, so I'll let you get to the rest of the video as we start to really get into these wings. But like I said, there's quite a few of them. Hey guys, if you're really bored and you on screen, you want to count them, give them a count. Let me know if there actually was 100 on screen. I, like I said, I didn't count it. I kind of just blindly trusted them. Um, although I will say I did have three trays versus the advertised one tray. So expectations versus reality seems to kind of be a little, mm, a little different, at least in regards to my challenges that I've experienced here. So like I said, guys, I'll talk to you here shortly. And at that, I'll let you get to the video. All right, one down. Very delicious taste. I'll try this other flavor. This one's definitely different, a little sweeter. It kind of tastes like baked bacon. I think the barbecue is better, but... Thank you. But overall, very delicious. I'm probably about 11 ish minutes. I think we're getting on half done. A lot of wings, that's for sure. It's very sticky sauce. Okay. Last tray, probably about 15 ish minutes in. Sauce is a little spicy, so I'm too. I'm getting my mouth is kind of burning like my face, but. They do taste good, and it's going pretty well. Yeah, this barbecue is really good. So as I mentioned guys, I'm actually not sure where the spice came from. Like I said, I made sure I didn't order any, you know, not even like a mild wing to ensure that they weren't, uh, didn't come out spicier than uh, advertised. Um, but like I said, even with this, I actually ended up having a tray of wings. It was the uh, bacon wings um, that had spice in them. Um, and it's not like it was massively, massively hot and spicy, but it was enough of a spice that I could tell it was there. It was, you know, kind of burning my face. Um, so again, I thought that was a little odd, but I mean, we, you know, it's, you're kind of, it's like you're in it. You make your bed, you got to sleep in it. This was a challenge. I accept it. We're deep into it this far and we're going to keep going and doing our best. 
I do give a lot of appreciation for the staff. They were uh, very welcoming and I appreciate the hospitality. Um, but with that, guys, let's get to it. Let's see if we can actually finish the rest of this challenge. just over 25 minutes. I guess I didn't have to eat the ranch. Miscommunication. Ooh, definitely, uh, okay, first off, the wings. The wings were very, very good tasting. Really enjoyed that barbecue. The uh, garlic and bacon was pretty good as well. Or the honey and bacon. A little bit of spice going on in my mouth. Around my mouth is pretty, pretty raw. It might be from a lot of the sodium as well. But very, honestly, very, very delicious wings. I, I think they like, fried them and then I'm thinking they grill them for the for the wings you fry them frita yeah or blanche the wings frita yeah so they fry them but very very good love the flavor on them um, I, honestly really really good wings but yeah so that we have enough free is pretty cool I guess we'll get up on a wall of fame somewhere but that's about that so I hope you enjoyed huge thanks to staff here they've been absolutely excellent thank you so much and that, I gotta clean up. Hi everybody, went and wash my face. Um, hopefully you heard that, but yeah, just in case, because it's a little loud. Basically, uh, the wings were delicious, guys. Uh, we're just over 25-ish minutes, 25 something else for the challenge. Um, we did not actually have to finish the ranch. That was uh, miscommunication. Uh, but yeah, that was really good. Honestly, really, really good wings. They do fry them, they said. But it's almost like they were like fried and grilled or something. Like I really, really liked them. Like that barbecue was absolutely delicious, to be honest. Um, the wings definitely exceeded my expectations. But yeah, but a huge thanks to the staff here. They've been absolutely great. That's about it, y'all. So here we go. There's our second challenge in Mexico. That would be three countries, lots of states, lots of provinces. But till next time. Oh, I think it's that sauce on me. Maybe. I don't know. I'll go inspect. Till next time, everybody. Say happy, they'll be happy. And thank you so much. Merida's been awesome. This is about my uh, pretty, almost my last day here. So if you're ever in the area, guys, Merida. This is in Cusel or Cacel, Cacel, Cusel, I believe it's pronounced. I was just outside Merida, but yeah, like I said, great staff guys. Uh, we're looking for good chicken wings, American themed restaurant, shark burgers. And uh, that's it, everybody. Love you. Have a great day. If you like the video, consider subscribing. Definitely check out that burger video of the, of the time I was here last time down in that link below. And that's it. Till next time.
We are in the middle of the jungle, going to a cenote in Yucatan. Yucatan. Yucatan? Yucatan? Yucatan. And like, this is legit. Like this is, there is nothing out here in the best way possible. It is trees. It is quiet. Like just listen how still this is. There's like nothing. It's just peaceful. Here are the whole fam jam guys. I have my fa Mexican family, my family to Mexicano. And I'm looking forward to seeing a cenote. So this is a big, uh, I guess cenote means essentially like endless pit of water or something like that, like very, very deep water. So yeah, a cenote, something you do when you come to Yucatan and this is gonna be crazy. So yeah, I can't believe I'm in Mexico. I haven't even made a video yet, but yeah guys, I'm in Mexico, so let's have some fun. So we're walking down to the cenote, which is like basically a cave, look at it. It's just a hole in the ground. This is this is it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at look. See how blue that water is? Holy crap. It looks fake. So yeah, this is like literally an underground pool basically. That's so cool. Apparently it's uh, in certain spots 25 meters deep, so it's like 75 feet. Uh, you can see the like thingy things there. This is absolutely insane. So that's going to be super cool. Okay, down here in the cenote, this is absolutely insane. Just look at the water, it is absolutely perfect. Let's try not to fall down these stairs that are wet, but like, oh my gosh. Look at this, it's literally just an underground cave, which is water and amazing. So that is so cool. All right, we're gonna hang out in here. Just to give you the visual, so like above ground, it's literally just like rocks and unexpected, and then you have just this hole in the ground. So like, that's freaking cool, guys. This is crazy. Uh, cenote, uh, there's the sign. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, to be honest. Cenote, there you go. You can look it up, guys, but Yucatan, and this big old beautiful hole in the ground, that is a cenote. I have left in my hand For by His mercy My life will stand The highest land Has set me free We could just walk and do like 20 Yeah, I was gonna say you're better off to walk by the sounds of it Yes, or bicycle the, Um, you over had bicycles I don't know if they had it Sigue teniendo los de Uber las bicicletas en la ciudad. Creo, no sé. They come and go. Like, like you can borrow them, like a... Like a you rent them. Yeah. But you rent them by the... What's up, everybody? We're down here in Porto del Chac. De del Chac. Del Chac, Porto. So uh, it's like a beach. Um, beautiful little town, guys. Beautiful little city. They have a whole bunch of... Uh, different actual Disney stuff over there, which is kind of weird. I'll show you that. Like Moana's, and here we got uh, an Ariel in there, and there's Cinderella. They got a whole bunch of flamingos and like shark thingies down here, but super cool town, very cute. So, yeah, let's go check this uh, Porto. Tell Chuck. Tell Chuck Porto. I think you can see that sign. Cool. And here we're down at the beach. We have the uh, restaurants. We have the ocean. Very, very beautiful. Just look at the water. It's very, very, very nice. And it's very not busy today. Apparently, this is considered a cold day. So that's why people aren't down here yet. But guess what? It's like at least 30 degrees Celsius. And the UV rays are so strong. My skin, it's not necessarily the heat, but I can tell by this feel. The UV rays are going to be very, very, very strong, and they are very, very strong. So lots of sunscreen, but just this is beautiful. This is crazy. And talk about different perspective. It was minus 25, minus 25 in um, Alberta, Canada last night, and here it is 30 degrees Celsius. There's a difference of 55 degrees. This is insane. So pretty cool. Let's have some fun. And here they have a sign: Del Cac, Porto, Porto Del Cac, Del Cac, and flamingos. I guess flamingos are a big Mexican thing, so pretty cool. So apparently here you're not supposed to be deterred by the look of a restaurant. Rather, everything's gonna be fresh coming, they're like fishing themselves. So 
Good with my good friend Alessandra. She's gonna grab some ceviche and we'll see what it looks like. And here we have Santa Claus. It's pretty cool. A big uh, another gentleman. That's just like uh, somebody important. We have Moana and the other gentleman there. And we have some uh, Paw Patrol dogs. I'm sure these are all created under copyright. <laughs> um, here we have Feliz Natal, Proper 2020 or 2021. So saying like proper, I don't know something. Anyway, that's pretty cool. They have Nutcrackers over there. Here we got Santa's sleigh over there. And here we have Cinderella. And I guess it would be Prince Charming. So that's pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. So here in Mexico, they're much more hosp like they're like the hospitality's better guys, they have have such pride and friendship. So here we are at a Posada, is that it? Here we are basically it's a block party, which is freaking awesome. Uh, normally, I guess this would be done in people's houses, like they take turns around um, the block just hosting a party all the days leading up to Christmas, but since it's COVID, they're staying outside, which makes perfect sense. But look at this, they got a, uh, they hired basically a taco truck, so that's pretty dang cool. So of course, we're going to take advantage of that. What'd you say? Oh yeah, like that one there. And here are the tacos we got. Got two um, roasted pork and two pork and a chili sauce. Put some habanero, spicy habanero sauce on that one. And here we have a. Was it? Panucho. Panucho, which is a fried tortilla with beans in it and then chicken and stuff on top. Let's, uh, let's give this one a try. So I, th I think this is the more uh, plain pork taco. Mm. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. So this is the one with the chili sauce, but this, I put the habanero on it, so it's supposed to be very spicy. The flavor is fantastic. It's not that spicy. It's nope. it's spicy, but it's not like I'm not dying. <laughs> I took a bite of habanero pepper earlier, and that was much worse. Not too bad. This is so good, though. This is this is the best. Although I've had like two meals here in Mexico, this is the best. One. This one. I had. It. Yeah, I like this one the best. Yeah, it's really good. And the other, one, the other one was good too. I love the flavors though, the sauces and everything. I like the tender. This one is too spicy for me. If you want it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Very delicious. I like that so much. That, that one was spicier. I had a lot of the habanero sauce on it. Because it's cooking with chili sauce, but most of the time it's just the flavor of the chili sauce. I added the, uh, no, but I put the habanero sauce on it. That's what's spicy. Mm -hmm. I had one plain, it wasn't good. And then let's try this thing. It looks great. It's good. It's different. It's not served hot. But I like it. And here we got some kind of dessert or a brownie. Alessandra, how is it? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. The tacos were excellent though. And this is really cool. This is some kind of a pumpkin seed dip or something, which is kind of like a hummus. Fantastic. Tacos were absolutely fantastic. And brownie. Yeah. Everyone, so the sun's not as harsh now, so now you'll be able to see better. But we also got some uh, Mexican candies. This looks like gummy bears. 
I have no clue what this is. Uh, something, something, yeah, fl chocolate flavor wafer, and then uh, it looks like a marshmallow. That's pretty cool. So it's like red, white, and blue almost. Pretty cool. And then they're having a pinata for all the niños, the kids, which is super cool. I think that's so, oh look, here we go. Going for the, that's my little bambino, that's my nina. Niños. Hit it, girl. There you go, look at her. It's good swings. <laughs> nice. There's my other nino. Oh, she's taking parts of it off. Oh, it's getting beat up. Holy jump it. By the way, the, the gummy bears just taste like gummy bears. Like they're holding a selfie stick. That's true. Yeah, I'm trying them now. It's good. Here got a chocolate wafer. Chocolate covered wafer. Almost tastes a little bit like peanuts. And chocolate covered marshmallow, which is squishy. This one I'm sure I like. Oh, you know what? It's a marshmallow and a jelly. Kind of like a Turkish delight. Raspberry. That's good. Oh, kids are beating the pinata, I'll show you that. Oh, and he just broke the stick. The kid just broke the stick beating the pinata. But the pinata's still standing, it's pretty good. Let's go, we're getting we're getting started with the smallest kids, we're going to the bigger kids. I don't think this guy's gonna give it any uh, any mercy. Let's see. Get a kid. Yeah, he is swinging. <laughs> Oh, it's coming undone, that's for sure. I don't know how many hits they get, but I guess he gets a lot. Nice. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right. Click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, it helps you out. Then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically pick two videos, yes, that's right. Two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.